What's going on, Flare Fishing fam? Today, we are not fishing. Actually, today, we aren't doing anything um, but uploading this video. The video you guys are going to watch is not fishing, though. It is Sandhill Crane Hunting. First time I've ever done it, and uh, I'll tell you what, it was a crazy, crazy experience. I think you guys are going to enjoy this video, and if you do, let me know in the comments section down below. But before I get started, I have some big news. So as you guys know, if you guys have been watching my duck hunting videos, the Ducks has been doing some giant Black Friday sales all throughout the weekend. But... What Doug's decided to do is do a Cyber Monday sale, and it is 20% off everything on the website for only Cyber Monday. Never actually been done before. Normally it's just 20%, 25% off all t-shirts one day, 25% off all hoodies the next. It is 20% off everything all stinking day. If you guys are watching this day I upload on Sunday, hoodies today are 25% off. So if you guys have been wanting any hoodie that Duck sells, uh, today would be the day. It's the cheapest that's gonna be. But then tomorrow on Monday, if you guys are watching this day I uploaded Monday, Cyber Monday, it's gonna be 20% off everything. That's barrel stickers, lanyards, calls, hoodies, hats, t-shirts, decals, anything, keychains, pop sockets, anything that's on the Ducks website will be 20% off for one day only. Link down below. If you guys have been wanting any Duck stuff, this is the day. This is the day you can get the most bang for your buck. Also, if you guys want to a chance to win my duck hunting boat, you have to sign up for the t-shirt of the month. I will leave that link down in the description as well. But I just wanna let you guys know that before I upload this video because a lot of you guys have been asking, when is Ducks gonna be having some sales? Now is the day, it's the last day on Monday. Go click the link down in the description. But that's enough talking. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hundred hours later, we made it. So yesterday we drove a total of like 14, 15 hours all the way down to Lubbock, Texas. And we are out here trying to shoot some cranes for the very first time. None of the boys here, including myself, have ever shot cranes. So we're headed to the field right now. It's early in the morning, about 5.25 a.m. We can go pick up some tumbleweeds for brush, set some decoys out, and see if we can shoot the ribeye of the sky. Yeah, why it'll be here and then we'll just fill in. That is easier just to just do this. <laughs> do you, uh, put that one on that very back corner. Is that good? We got a roost over here on the west, and we got another one that's going to be southeast of us. Okay. You're going to hear them when they get up. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, it's crazy. Um, there's a big feed going on over there. We're going to feed, and we're also going to be hunting traffic on these birds that are coming from that feed over to the loaf behind us. They're gonna be coming from that direction, so they should be coming right into us. There's not a lot of wind though, so those birds are gonna be take a while to come down. They're just, they're just staying up high. But we should be good, man. Sounds good. Sweet. Baby, there we go. Nice two in, start, boys. Two, two came in. Two went down, baby. There we go. First stand crane ever, baby. <laughs> Woo! I ain't trying to get bit by this thing. Hey. Squirrely. Now we got some red eyes, baby. Squirrely. Look at that. That was good, boys. Whew. That was good. This is the highlight of the year that for was me good so far. That was good shooting. We literally just got set up after the birds came in and we shot three, four different groups. And we're just dropping these suckers like nothing. But it is just super hot and heavy. We can't do a lot of filming as far as like outside the blind. These birds are pretty dang smart, so. This is awesome. They're doing it. Come right over, get right. See them? I can't shoot them. Your little lads are gonna come this way. Just wait, just wait. Don't look, just wait. Oh. 
Try and kill him now. Try and kill him now. Texas wind keeps switching on us, so birds are trying to land behind this pivot back here, so we're gonna make a quick change and see if it can't do something. We're not getting birds to finish directly in front, but still doing well though. I think we got 13. Hey, even if they just give us a shot, we're taking it. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Oh, it's far. Try and kill him. One more, come on, one more. Nope. All right. Oh, I can't he's alive. Well, so far, folks, been a pretty good day. I believe we got 14 or so down, and uh, we're seeing tons and tons and tons of birds. But as the sun kind of comes up, I don't know if they're seeing us more or, or what the deal is, but we've moved the decoys about a dozen times, trying to figure out what exactly these guys want. Because we can't really brush up the blind anymore, so, I mean, you can only change what you can physically change, which is the decoys. So we're going to try moving the decoys once again, see if we can knock down a few more. 21 is our limit, so the goal is to shoot seven more birds and uh but again so far so good we're seeing tons of birds i have never done this before in my entire life it was absolutely incredible like i mentioned earlier you feel like you're in jurassic park pterodactyls coming in they're like screeching at you and stuff and then you're just laying the hammer down and they just dump it's it's awesome First two that came over, they didn't do it great, but they came over, we got one out of the pair. Hopefully a little decoy change will do something. They just didn't want to do anything with this pivot right here. They didn't want to go ass down above the blind either. So we'll see, we got a little time left. We'll see if they come through. So we are moving the blinds around a little bit. We we're facing this way. Now we're facing this way. Just the way the wind's been blowing and how these birds have been working. We're having to make a lot of adjustments. We moved the decoys probably six, seven times today. But each time we move it, it seems like it works. You know, we shoot some birds after each little run. So we're gonna make a whole new adjustment, rearrange the blind completely. Are there any more stakes? All for the best. We just had our last flock come in and we limited. So it's been a great day. We're gonna take these back home, fillet them up, and start cooking. Ooh, look at the spread. Mm, 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 mm. First time ever crane hunting. And we shot a six man limit of uh, sandhill cranes. We gotta go fillet all these suckers up. Apparently, they're the ribeye or the filet mignon or the top sirloin of the sky. We're gonna find out. We got a uh, Chef, Chef Brad over there, he's cooking up the dope shots right now, but he'll be cooking up the dope meats later. Oh! oh, see ya, dude. Well, we are back here at the house. It's been a couple days, actually like a day and a half, and uh, we just got back. We are going to cook up some crane steaks. We got this, Austin and I, we're going to, we'll see what happens here. We got the rest of our birds just chilling in there. We're probably only going to cook this little bit today. Uh, we want to try a couple different recipes. So if you guys know any good recipes, comment them down below and we'll cook the rest of the birds like that. Maybe take a couple of your guys' recipes from home. Uh, you don't have to give me like a detailed recipe, just kind of like a generic how to, how to cook. We're just going to cook these like a, a regular steak. These birds are called the ribeye of the sky. So we are going to cook it like you'd cook a ribeye. Throw some steak seasoning, salt, pepper, throw it on the grill, medium rare, and we're going to do the taste test. We're going to see if it... If it lives up to the hype, is it all hype? Does it really taste like the ribeye of the sky or is it a little bit gamey, kind of like duck and goose? We're gonna find out today, but Chef Austin's gonna show you guys how he how he does up his steak. So we got some cracked pepper on there. Get a nice little coating on there like that. A little salt. Get your get yourself some sea salt on there. Just a little, little dabble in there. And then we got just generic steak seasoning. I don't even know what did you brand like, it is. Did you go just... make this or what? Yeah, actually okay. I did. I grew all the cool. herbs or what is it? What is seasoning out of herbs? Well, you're just going to say what I did. 
What do you, go back to doing homework. No one asked for your looks. Yeah, I'll give her a little bit more than that. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah, just give her a nice little crusting. Then you do flip. the old flip -rooski. Same on the other side, just a nice little even coat. And on the, on the girl they go. Oh, Ooh, yeah, piping hot. Toss her on there while it's hot. All right, medium rare. Let's see if this girl does any, does any damage. A few moments later. Mm, mm, mm. First cut into it. Taste test. It's not bad. I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't put it super far off from like geese. Like it definitely tastes better than geese, but you still get a little bit of that gamey taste with it, but it's still pretty good. So out of all the birds, including teal, just, you know, mallards, goose, stuff like that. This is probably the better tasting one, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't taste, say it tastes like a ribeye. It still has just a, just a hint of the gamey, the gamey taste. But granted, if you actually marinated it for more than five seconds, like we did, maybe that would go away, but it's awesome starting to try it. Oh yeah, that is money. Look at that. Look at that chef flair with the shot, boy. That is a perfectly done steak. Oh yeah. All right, what are you thinking? I think it's pretty good. Would you think I, it's a ribeye though? I mean, I didn't taste much game. Really? Maybe I, I, think I, it was, I think it was a little better than you what you were saying. Okay, hang on. Let me. That's, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I was like, eh, I like that. I had a piece of Austin steak, which was a little bit more tender than mine. I really like it. Do you think it's steak though? I mean, can you? I mean, can you not taste just the hint of game in it? Your piece is way better than mine. I'll give it that. I don't know what the difference was. They didn't come up the same bird. We literally just picked two breasts that were in there. But yours is better than mine. Oh, For sure better than mine. Just ignore the golden doodle. Just marking it up in the back. All right, scratch that. All right, it, it really just depends on what piece you get. I apparently didn't get that great of a piece, but I ate a piece of Austin's, and it's better. Just a little bit better. It doesn't have quite as much game to it, so... Pretty much tastes like steak, for the most part. I mean, I'd eat it. Comment down below what recipes you think we should do. And I don't know if I'll film it or not, but just, we got a lot of meat to go through. You know, we got a two, two man limit. We got six of these suckers and their breasts are, are giant. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was something different and uh, I'm glad that we got to go down there and try it. And it was fun. We shot birds and now we ate them and, and that's, that's what it's all about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see us do it again, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.